I'm taking it. Is it in liquid form? It's in powder form. Okay, <laughs> you see, broiler farming can give you a lot of money if you can plug yourself in the right spot in the business. So what you can see here now, these are four weeks old broilers. And you and I can tell that they are massive. Yeah, four weeks, just four weeks and they are looking this good. You know, a lot of people will report, you know, blisters, I mean, um, foot pad dermatitis when they are raising them on litter simply because they don't manage the litter well. This is an example of a clean foot. You see, it's super clean because the litter has been well managed. Okay. So there are a couple of things that you need to know and there's what we call plugging yourself in the right spot in the business, in the broiler farming business, if you want to maximize profit. And that's exactly what I will be sharing with you today. So if you want to be able to maximize your profit in broiler farming, you want to stick around. So this is DIY Agri, your number one animal scientist and your poultry success partner. There's one guy out there who is making sure that you succeed as a poultry farmer then it is DIY Agri. So if you're just joining us on this channel or you are yet to subscribe to the channel, this is a good time to hit that subscribe button because you're going to be learning a lot of things that will help you to succeed as a broiler farmer. So like I said, these birds are four weeks old and they are doing excellently well. You know, this is what they looked like a couple of days back. And right now we have had to sell some of them. And this is what we have now. These lovely birds were actually brought in because of the raising broilers like a pro master class which I'm currently um, holding and in case you want to join that master class it's just a perfect one for you if you want to learn better ways of raising broilers and you know getting more profit definitely okay so they were brought in there were 207 birds brought in on 7th of you know I have the record here at least part of it I stopped using this one when the board got filled so I continue with my book so I have 7th of February 2023 they all came in and we lost two on the first day we lost one after about 15 16 days due to heat and after those three losses you know the rest have been doing well no other mortalities and they are doing great the weight has been impressive week one 207.75 grams with two five I can see that because I'm looking at the board so with two 514.2 grams week three 1015 point something grams and week four we are having about 1.7 something grams but on average about 1.6 something grams i'm about to do that computation so when i say you plug yourself in the right spot in the business what do i mean you see um you can decide to sell your birds at any age perfect for you so these ones now i sold some of them at around three weeks and six days let me just say four weeks old and i tell you there's what we call feed conversion ratio you know when the birds are still small as they're young they're growing they are very very good at converting feed in the first few weeks of their life hey hey Sh shelly stop that so they're very good at converting feed in the first few weeks of their life what do i mean the rate at which they convert this feed you are giving them to meat is super higher is super impressive when they are small and that means that when you sell them early, you get good profit. It doesn't mean you can't get good profit when you sell them even at three months old. But then there's a trick to that business. And you need to stick with me if you want to understand that uh, logic here. So what happened? You know, I didn't want to keep all of them till six weeks. They will get this old place messed up. I'll have to be changing the litter often. And I don't want to do that. I don't want to stress myself that much. So basically they are training materials and I'm already wrapping up with the videos I have to take with the birds. So I decided to let some of them go. Even though I had more orders than I supplied, I had to sell only 100 of them to that particular person. And I sold about, I think 30 something to some other people. So after all the selling, I will be having about 60 birds left in this place. Okay, so that's just to make sure that I still have something to um, continue with the videos and then definitely I want to be feeding a lot of them to the birds. Shh. 
definitely I want to be feeding a lot of them to the dogs as uh, the girl is approaching her eat period and I want her nutrition to be super uptight during that time. Okay, so if you sell at that early stage, I did some calculations some days back where I said if I were to sell them at 2,000 Naira each at that time, I'll be having about 130 something thousand profit on a 250 something or 200 something thousand business. And that's good profit if you ask me. So selling early might be to your advantage, but then if you want to sell late, you want to sell at three months old, then you have to do some extra work of looking for premium customers. Those who are willing to pay almost anything you call just because the birds are looking so super big and there you need to know how to select your breed and select the perfect breed for that kind of business if you don't select the perfect breed for whatever sport you find yourself in the business then you may not be getting it right okay so you want to sell them at three months old you want to select breeds that look really tall from a distance you know all those things so if you want to learn the rudiments of broiler farming, you want to learn everything from start to finish, you know, you don't want to have any questions, you want to have all your questions answered. You might just want to take the raising broilers like a pro masterclass. Everyone on that class, they are already blessed. Imagine these ones I sold now, if I were to just sell, allow all of them go, maybe I sold the 165 to the person who ordered for them and I sold the other 30 something to neighbors around, you know, somebody is currently knocking, that's why the dog back. They want, they, he wants to get about 10 of them. So and I sold to my neighbors and all that. You know, and in the space of, and I tell you, if I wanted to sell all of them, I would have sold them around three weeks plus. So in the space of four weeks, just one month, with the, you know, with the setup I have here, the stress is so minimal. The only thing that stresses me is when I'm measuring the feed because I've been taking the measurements of the feed from day one. So that's the only thing that stresses me. If I were to just take the feed bag and pour in the feeder, that means this work is super easy. I have automatic drinkers, I have everything set up, it's super easy. So in that space, if I can have about 150,000, 130,000 in just a month with this size of flock, just 200 birds, tell me, it's super profitable. So if you want to have that kind of exposure, the knowledge, and one of the things that will help you to get that kind of profit is, of course, you want to be able to minimize your mortality. Mortality record, you know, we lost two due to stress of transportation and just one due to each stress. And at that point, I decided not to be feeding them in the afternoon again and everything changed. So if you want to know the right thing to do part time, don't take that brother course and it's going to change your story. All right, so let me quickly go attend to my customer out there. And just so you know, I've changed my slippers, you know, I was putting on something else inside and, and that is permanently inside the brother house. So I don't take it out for biosecurity. So these are some of the transport crates used in transporting the birds. 